Hello and welcome to Channel B. It is Tuesday. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching us. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of very exciting things happening today. Uh, it's the GQ Men of the Year Awards. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I narrowly missed it last year. I actually went to them last year. It was brilliant. Elton John did it. He presented them and he was, he was really funny halfway through. He kept on saying, I, you're lucky to have me, I'm too good for this, <laughs> which was true. And then, he, and then he, halfway through, he just said, I need to go to the toilet and left. <laughs> just brilliant. He was brilliant, though. He was really funny. He was good. And, uh, and he was just caning everyone, basically, which I thought was quite funny. Who actually won it last year? I don't know whether there's an overall winner. Um, no, they have things like the environmentalist. David de Rothschild won that last year. What do they have? Do they have the overall? Lifetime Achievements from Michael Caine, he wins that every year. Chef Ramsay won that. Uh, new leading man, James McAvoy. But that's last year's. Who cares about that? We want to know about this year's. Um, also, um, there's a new thing starting tonight. It's a new reality TV show. No! Which is just what we wanted. Well, but it's a celebrity reality TV show. Oh, and you. it's on ITV2. So you'll need to have Sky Digital or Virgin Media or what else can you watch on these days? Freeview, BT. Freeview, BT. Oh, it's all so confusing, isn't it? Yeah. I've just had Sky forever, so I don't know what else there is out there. Um, which is the best? Virgin's is good. Virgin's good, is it? Yeah. Is it still Sky, though? Is it's it? It's probably Sky. We've just all got Ooh. Sky, haven't we? Yeah. Virgin? Because we used to get it free when we all worked there. Yeah. And then we left and they switched it all off and we left the <laughs> Within minutes. Two weeks! <laughs> Two weeks and I was paying! I gave that company over ten years of my life! <laughs> come on! Ten years! Let it go! I found out that. That the other day to get my Sky fixed and I had to, I didn't get VIP'd or anything yeah. as oh, I used to do. No, <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have to queue with everyone else in lines. Um, anyway, this is this show. Where they, I don't know what's happening really. What are they doing? They're just hanging out on an aeroplane, are they? And they're doing... They serve what? It's they're Jewish serving it's people. Yeah. yeah, but they're also working the counters and the tickets and yeah. stuff, aren't they? In the airport. You've got a whole host of celebs. Uh, Angelica Bell is the one who's presenting it. We like her. She's cool. But singer and presenter Misha Paris is in it. Uh, singer and Steps Band member Lisa Scott Lee is in it. Uh, Chico is in it. <laughs> Chico time again. Tamara Beckworth is in it. Amy Lame. 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 Oh, yeah. Who's she? Not a clue. Presenter and comedian. Uh, Star of Australian Idols and Neighbours. It's only Dan O'Connor. Oh, <laughs> come on, Dan O'Connor. <laughs> Who's Dan O'Connor? My favourite. Oh, yeah. No idea. Uh, Blazing Squad's Kenzie's in it. Lisa Scott Lee and Johnny Shentel. Lisa Scott Lee's husband. Lisa Scott Lee's husband. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, I've already said Lisa Scott Lee, so they put Lisa Scott Lee and her husband in. Okay. Uh, Lisa Mafia's in it. Michelle Marsh is in it. And Phil Corn was in it. That's bizarre, Phil Corn was being that. So that's ITV2. Let's all watch it and then all report back and say what we think of it. Uh, but there is also football on. It's the uh, Johnstones paint trophy. Um, big fixture in that is Leeds v Bradford, which is the big, big derby match. But, but there's there's loads going on that. There, so that is all the football coming up on um, on Channel B uh, today. We've got a gags about Swan. Sorry, it wasn't up yesterday. We had a slight little technical problem. Uh, Humans from Newcastle is there oh, yes. now. This one we had a bit of uh, Channel B history because you know when we offer the money to strip. Well, I tell you what, it's our first yes. ever strip. Yes. Where, where is the strip? Where is the strip? Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle. But whereabouts? Where, where were they? In a bar? In a in the street? Where were they? They were in the street. They were in the street near the town centre, and we're all getting very excited out there, men and women. Sadly, it was a bloke, though, oh. which is never as exciting, oh, is it? Because men get their clothes off all the time. If you just, <laughs> if you watch the office webcam, you'll see Fanners walking around half the time with just his shirt off. And obviously, Sheephead lives with his shirt off most of the time. Um, we've got the new Kings of Leon video, Sex on Fire. It's out as a download uh, next week, and it's in that corner there. Kings of Leon are really popular. I went to the gig, jam-packed full of women. It was yeah. like going to... I could not believe it. Robert, you were there as well. Yeah, we went to watch. We went to watch Las Vegas, followed by Kings of Leon, and I couldn't believe how many women were there. It was like going to a, a boy band gig or something, wasn't it? Yeah, five. They all got, they all got <laughs> they all their lippy on and their heels and their makeup. They're all. Who's the one they fancy? Jared. Yeah. 
It was yeah. a Jared. Yeah. They all thought, if I look really nice, Jared might just spot me out of a crowd of a couple of thousand people. <laughs> Get me backstage. Yeah, I preferred them with beards. Yeah. yeah. I thought they were more earthy. Yeah. But. Uh, we are scientist story. Jadine's uh, favourite so far about uh, the time Johnny Depp um, threatened to uh, fight them over uh, a gambling <laughs> debt is, is in that window there, and that is quite funny, isn't it? I like the idea of Johnny Depp. Though. I think he's one of the one of the coolest people from yeah. Hollywood, don't you? I think he looks good, and I think his acting's good as well. And we've also um, got another competition. Ooh. We're giving away this. What is it? It's what? it's a. Has it got a hamster in? Yeah, it's, a, it's got a cat in there. That's what we're giving away. Meow. That. that is water. Oh. Drown it next to a computer. In perspex. Sure? Yep, that is that. So and this, gonna... have I got notes on this somewhere? Am I going to have to just. This oh, is what we're giving away. Meow, <laughs> meow. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're giving away. Oh. I don't know whether you want it or not, but I th we thought they were kind of cool. Um, Neil and JD, I'm going to read some facts here. They went to the launch of this in London Aquarium. And basically, these, these boots, am I right? Waterproof. They're waterproof. Hydrophobic. But aren't they, aren't they always been waterproof? No, no. They repel water. They repel Test water, these do. And what you do is, they, where's the little funny bits of material? These, here. So that's cardboard and, and J-cloth. J-cloth, yeah. And they've Scientific. And they've sprayed it with... I think they sprayed, they've it with sprayed one stuff? of them. With this stuff? That's water. It's that's water? Yeah, it's in the pipette. It's Why? scientific. No. <laughs> it's water. That's just water. We'll drink it then. Yeah, right. <laughs> so what, what is it then? Right, so I'm dunking that in there. And the cardboard. Wow. Doesn't get wet? I don't think one of them does get wet. <laughs> Dip the boots in. They don't get wet. It doesn't fit. Oh. oh, oh there we go. Oh. Yeah, but no boots get wet, do they? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Oh, oh, you see, that is totally dry. Oh, I no. see. That's I get it. That's, oh, that's amazing. That is waterproof. Wait, that is waterproof. That's good. Yeah. So that's like if you want to go like hiking round and stuff. Water. How much are these worth? Then? They must be a few About quid, aren't they? Hundred oh, quid. Yeah. And we're giving them away for free. Yeah. How we do it? We're going to do it on the uh, England match, are we? Yeah. England. Andorra. Andorra. When's that? Saturday. Saturday. So you're going to go on Banter Pit, and you're going to guess the time of the first scorer on Banter Pit, and then you can win these. And will they send them to them in their size, or yes. do they have to win this pair? No, their size. Right, so you, you get enter the competition and you win a pair of these in your size. So if you fancy going walking around, where would you go walking? The new forest, maybe. <laughs> or, or, <laughs> Text oh. an email. Oh, Text an email. <laughs> the Cotswolds. Is that a good place to go walking? Yeah, yeah sure. Manchester. Any, Manchester. Anywhere in Scotland. Manchester. In Scotland. Manchester. Man wet. Is Manchester a good place for walking? It's wet. It's wet in Manchester, yeah. 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 Yeah, Vidic says it rains too much. Yeah. Maybe we could get a pair of these to Vidic. Maybe that's what they should, that's, that's what, what they, needs. that's what high tech should have done. They should have got a pair of these to, to Vidic and he wouldn't complain. So that's it. That is a good prize. And you can win those by going to Banter Pit now. Okay. And uh, anyway, that's all from Channel B today, from me from Channel B today. We'll see you tomorrow with more original material. See you Wednesday. Bye.